Hey, babe. Have you come across my boots? You know, those red ones I wear all the time when I go out? I've been searching high and low this morning, but they seem to have vanished into thin air. Any chance you've seen them around? Dunno. Are you sure you haven't seen it anywhere? Nah, man. Don't know what you're talking about. So you're sure about that? Yeah, man. Okay. Well, then what's this, then? What the... I don't know, man. You tell me. What do you want me to look at? You don't recognize who the girl is in the photo? Wait, hold up. Harper, that's her, man. Oh, yeah. That's the photo she just posted on her Instagram. Did you happen to catch the caption she wrote? It goes something like, My amazing gift for someone special. Love you to the moon and back. Quite intriguing, right? Sounds like she's head over heels for whoever gave her those boots. What are you checking her Instagram for? You stalking her or what? Cut it out. Uh, no. I don't think so. She's the one who slid into my DMs with this. And those boots she's wearing? Don't they ring a bell for you? Cause they look like the exact pair I've been looking for. Nah, dude. It's probably just a similar one to yours. How should I know? Oh. Oh, you're right. This is pure coincidence. Wow. What are the chances, hey? Yeah, so what? Yeah, except for one tiny detail, babe. These boots? They're totally custom made. They're one of a kind. I had them especially crafted when I went on that vacation trip to France with my friends. Ah, shoot. <laughs> oh, really? Is that what you've got to say for yourself? You're such a jerk. Why did you do this to me? Why would you give my belongings to your ex-girlfriend? All right, all right. Yeah, it was me. I admit it. I handed over those cheap garbage boots, Stuart. Cheap boots? That was not cheap. You don't know anything about high-end brands. Whatever, man. What do you mean, whatever? Aren't you going to explain how the heck this happened? Man, you're such a drag, dude. She saw your Instagram post or whatever. She said she liked your boots. I didn't know where to get it from, so I gave that one to her. And that's it. End of story. Happy? So that's it? You mean that's why you decided to steal my boots and give it to her instead? What the hell? Who does that? Well, you don't even use those boots. I've never seen you use it. How am I supposed to know? What do you mean? I do use it. What the hell are you talking about? And what gives you the right to give it away? Even if I didn't use it, that still doesn't give you the right to go ahead and do that. What's wrong with you? It's mine. Okay, okay. Okay what? Look, just because we live together, it doesn't mean that you can go into my room and take my things. And you lied to me, Martin. I'm more upset about that than anything else. And let's not forget the fact that you're giving my things to your ex. I've been keeping my mouth shut all this time, but I've had enough. Keeping your mouth shut about what? About you seeing her behind my back. I know you guys are seeing each other, but I don't believe it when you said you were just friends. We're not, man. I don't believe it. You guys broke up years ago. Exactly. I'm your fiancé. What happened to respecting me? Stop seeing her. Yeah, all right, all right. I told you she's just an old friend who I dated for a bit. And that was it. If she wants something, I get it for her. I do the same for you too. Oh, so what? You're treating us the same way now, are you? You're treating your soon-to-be wife the same way as your ex-girlfriend, are you? Nah, man. It's just who I am, you know? I like to treat the women in my life, whether it's you, mom, or even grandma. <laughs> so don't sweat it about some ex-girlfriend, man. Take a chill pill and relax. She's like my little sis. No biggie, all right? A little sister? <laughs> a little sister that you've slept with? I don't think so. Oi, easy, man. You know what I meant. 
please don't blow things out of proportion like that. Why do you have to stay in touch with her? Can't you just create some distance between you two? Think about how all this feels for me. Imagine getting all dolled up for a date with your boyfriend, only to get stood up because his ex suddenly wants his attention. Imagine your boyfriend putting his ex-girlfriend above you in priority. Honestly, I can't handle this anymore. Alright, sorry dude. It won't happen again. Trust me, she's just ex, an old friend. There's nothing going on between us. I swear, just trust me, babe. But you've said that a hundred times. It's like the boy who cried wolf and it's getting old. I really don't know if I can take this anymore. Okay, okay, I get it. Well, if you really get it, then get me my boots back, okay? That's mine. It's my belongings and I need it. What? Oh, come on, man. For real? You expect me to get your boots back from Harper? Uh, yes. Obviously. You took it from me and gave it away. How else am I going to get it back? You better get it back, Martin. I'm serious. Oh, man. Seriously? For real? Are you serious, dude? I already gave it to her. I can't get it back from her. How am I supposed to do that, man? That's your problem, not mine. All right, babe. How about I get you a new pair instead, huh? I'll get you brand new spanking boots. Any type of boots you want. How about that, babe? You like that, yeah? No way. Those are the exact boots I want. I already mentioned to you that they're custom made and they hold a special meaning for me. You can't just substitute them with something else. Yeah, man. Come on, babe. I'm giving you a better deal, man. How is that a better deal? No. Just give me my boots back. For crying out loud, fine. Whatever, man. Hey, Leah. It's Harper. I heard about your boots from Martin. I honestly had no idea it was yours. So sorry about that. Hi, Harper. No worries. Martin told me that you gave them back to him to give them to me anyway, so it's all good. Aw, okay, that's good then. I hope you won't go shouting at him or get mad at him again. He was so upset about it. What do you mean? Well, he told me how you guys had an argument over the boots. He was seriously worked up about how mad you've got. I've never seen him that upset, no joke. But honestly, it's all in me, really. All I did was compliment your awesome boots and mentioned how I wish I had a pair like yours. That's it, I swear. Then out of the blue, he goes and get boots that look exactly like yours. But I had no idea they would actually be your boots. He didn't mean any harm, seriously. So please, cut him some slack, pretty please. Okay then. At least I got my boots back. That's all I wanted, really. But I'll make sure to remind him not to steal my things because that was out of line. Well, I don't hold a grudge against him or anything, okay? That's not cute. It's not fair on him either when he got your boots back in the end. <laughs> okay then. If you say so. Also, I might as well tell you something on Martin's behalf then. Oh, okay. What is it? I know that you guys are still close. I know that he sees you and treats you like his little sister. But we're getting married soon. So, it would be nice if you knew where you stood in this relationship with him. He's going to be my husband. And I don't think it'll look good if he was hanging out with his ex-girlfriend a lot, would it? If you could respect us a bit more in that sense, that would be great. Oh, did he say that to you? Basically, yeah. Oh wow, I had no idea. He usually always tells me things like that, because we're open with each other, you know? Oh, and you too? I didn't know this was how you guys felt. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I never saw it like that. 
You know that Martin and I go way back, right? Yep, I know. Back to when we were kids, so I've always thought of him like an older brother. And I know things didn't work out once we dated for a while. That was sad. But after we broke up, I guess we just went back to the way we used to treat each other. So I'm sorry about how close we are. Honestly, I seem as my brother who always takes care of me. Uh-huh. But like I said, it would be nice if you stepped back a bit because it's starting to get a little intrusive. Okay, I understand. I'll be more careful than I used to pose. Oh, he also mentioned how you're like his mother. Oh, I guess it goes to show how nicely he treats his women, right? <laughs> what the? He said I'm like his mother? How? He said that you're exactly like my mom when you get mad. <laughs> He's met my mom a few times before, when he used to come around to mine when we were kids. Oh, okay. That's crazy, but whatever. Anyway... If you could just keep a bit of distance from my fiancé, that's all I'm asking for. Okay then. Message well received. I better go now. Okay, yeah. Me too. I can't believe I ever forgave you for what you did. I seriously can't believe it. How dare you disrespect me like this? Seriously, bro? What the hell? I specifically mentioned I'm hanging out with the guys from work tonight, didn't I? I straight up told you not to bother me with the texts and all that jazz. Can my fiancé even remember a tiny insignificant detail I tell her, huh? Do you seriously have the memory of a freaking goldfish or what? What the? Are you drunk? Nah, man. Ain't drunk. You're drunk. What the hell? How much did you drink? Just a six-pack and a few shots, man. Nothing I can't handle. <laughs> shots, shots, shots. Woo! Okay, clearly you can't handle your alcohol. Anyway, I want to ask you about this. About what, baby? About this photo. Whoa, who the hell is that? She's got a nice hand, though. This is from Harper's Instagram. That's one of the pictures she posted recently. Look closely at the ring. Does it look familiar to you? Hmm. I'll give you a clue. My engagement ring has been missing since this morning. Oh, 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 oh. That's what this is. <laughs> Oops. I gave it to her. Right, I can see that. But why the hell does she have it on her finger? Well, she said she wanted a new ring to go with her new outfit or whatever. And she saw yours on your Instagram or something and said she wanted it. So I just gave it to her. You thought you could just give her my ring? Just like you gave my bag to her? Without asking me? Yeah, check this out, babe. I completely forgot about the size problem. Look at her dainty fingers, all slim and elegant. Now look at yours, those chunky sausage fingers. <laughs> so of course I had to get it resized and all that hassle. But hey, now it's fixed perfectly, problem solved, woohoo! What the hell? Oh man, you should have seen it. It was absolutely hilarious. When she tried to put your ring on her finger, it was practically hanging off. Like, it wouldn't even stay put. Dude, your fingers are like mega chubby. No wonder it didn't fit. And let's be real, her figure is on point, unlike yours. <laughs> what a shame, right? What a shame? Yet yeah, what a shame, because I have to live with it, don't I? What the? How could you say that to me, Martin? Seriously? What's gotten into you? Who cares? I'm going to get you a wedding ring soon anyway, huh? That doesn't mean I don't need my engagement ring, though. 
Does it? Yeah, well, you probably won't be wearing it. So why not give it to her? She'll actually wear it. Anyway, don't sweat the small stuff, man. It's all good. What's all good? No. This is not good at all. Martin! The ring suits her more anyway. Those dumb red boots, too. They both suit Harper more than you, you uggo. Fine. Is that the way it's going to be, then? What, dude? Listen, man, I told you, I'm drinking with the boys. See you later. Okay, fine. Looks like it is, then. I have an idea, too, you know? Huh? What are you going on about, woman? Shut up, man. See this? Harper posted this on her Instagram. See the caption where it says, Fun night out with my girlies? See that? <laughs> okay, and what? Well, that photo was taken the night you said you were working late. You said you had overtime work to do so you'd be coming home late. Uh-huh, exactly. So what are you getting at? Well, look carefully at this photo. See anything interesting? Huh? No. The mirror in the background, you idiot. Oh, flip it. Yeah, I thought so. There's a topless guy in his underwear. Who the hell is it? Oh, shoot, man. Well, no, that's bullcrap. What are you on about? That's not me. You trying to tell me that that's me? <laughs> Cut it out, man. Whoa. I'm starting to sober up over here thanks to you. You killjoy. Oh, so you're telling me that this isn't you? Nah, that's not me, man. That's some random guy who's wearing the same pants as me. Oh, really now? Well then, let me ask around to see if they think it's you or not. How about I ask your parents then, hmm? Surely they would recognize their own son when they see him, right? No, shoot. No, man. What the hell do you think you're doing? Well, I just wanted to confirm whether this was you or not. Why is that so bad? That's not me, man. I'm telling you. You have to believe me. Okay, then. You won't have a problem if I ask around to see if other people will agree. Because I'm pretty sure it's you who's half naked in this picture with a girl who's not your fiancé. It's clearly proof that you're cheating on me with Harper. You liar. You scumbag. No, 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 Leah, seriously. There's nothing going on between me and her. I swear. I'm your fiancé, remember? We're about to tie the knot. Please don't tell me you're buying into this kind of nonsense. Right. Well then, how do we explain the photo I've just sent you then? Okay. So it was raining that night. Like bad. Real bad. Hmm. Sure. Go on, you idiot. I'm listening to your crappy excuse. So keep going. Okay, well, I didn't have an umbrella, right? So she just happened to be near the office and... Oh, sure. Sure she was. She was, I swear. And she said she was getting wet in the rain, of course. What the hell? So anyway, listen, we decided to stay somewhere nice and warm to dry ourselves off. And that hotel in the photo was the best choice we had at the time. I'm serious. It doesn't look like it, I know, but you gotta trust me. Man, I've completely sobered up now. I'm telling you the truth, babe. Oh, really now? Yeah, Harper was just messing around on Instagram, man. You know how she loves posting on it and all, right? Oh, so it must be my mistake then. Yeah, babe, exactly. You're getting the point. As if? You really think I believe that bullcrap? You really think I'm that stupid and naive? No, 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 man, I don't. I know you've been cheating on me with her for a while now. You idiot. You piece of scum. What? How did you? That's not freaking true. You think that these pictures are the only proof I have? 
Well, think again. Trust me, I have more. Where? How? What the hell, ma'am? Her- I even hired a private detective for this, you know. You what? Yup. I had someone trail you a couple of times. And thanks to that, now I have all the evidence I need. What the heck, man? Dude! Actually, I have several photos right here with me. Let's take a look. Here's one of you entering her apartment at 8 p.m. last Wednesday, the same time you said you were having a company party. And here's another photo of you passionately kissing her outside of McDonald's on 8th Street around 1 p.m. Was that during your lunch break? I wonder. Hmm. What the... Stop this, man. What the heck are you doing, man? So you treat Harper like your sister, right? And this is the kind of thing that you get up to with your sister, huh? You're sick. You filthy, lying, dirty sicko. Wait, babe, I can explain. For real, just listen. Please, babe. Okay, I'm listening. What do you want to tell me? Well, I'm telling you, nothing is happening here. Please, don't call off the engagement or think of doing anything stupid here, okay? <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Why would I? I'm here to talk things through with you, like two mature adults. But I'll only talk with you about the damages that you're going to have to pay me. Damages? What damages, man? For the emotional damage for breaking up our engagement by cheating on me? Nah, man. Leah, look. I'll get the ring back from Harper ASAP. I promise. You mean the ring that you resized? I can get it resized back to your size again, yeah? No. Why would I want that? You can get rid of that for all I care. You can piss off, too. What? No, you don't mean that, babe. No, in fact, I do mean it. I'm dumping your sorry butt and you can dump that ring with you and see if I give a damn. We're done. Hey, Harper. How are you? No, look, before you ask me anything, I had nothing to do with it. Have nothing to do with what? <laughs> All I said was hi. Jeez. You know what? What? Oh, you mean how I know that you've been seeing my boyfriend behind my back? Or how I know how slutty you are? I'm not a slut. Well then, what would you call a girl who sleeps with your boyfriend? I don't know. The right answer is a slut. Was it fun then? What was fun? Sleeping with Martin all this time. Was it fun posting all your lies onto your Instagram? Stealing my things? Wanting to be like me? I feel quite honored for that, by the way. I hope you had fun trying to be like me. But too bad you're nothing like me. No, Leah. This is a mistake. I was tricked by him. I had no idea that he'd given me an engagement ring, let alone yours. Oh, please. I don't believe a word of that. Why should I? No, I really had no idea. Oh, speaking of that, do your parents know? Know what? Know about how you're a gold digger? Heck, you're practically a prostitute. What? What are you talking about? Well, I know about what you do for work. I had a private investigator look into what Martin was getting up to when I thought I'd have him track you down, too. What? You didn't just tell me that? A private investigator? On me? If I'm honest, I was more surprised by what you did than what Martin did to me. All those high-end possessions you have on you? Now I know exactly where they came from. How disgusting. You're just some filth and I shouldn't be anywhere near you. So I'm guessing your parents don't know about this. Stop this! Shut up! Don't you dare get them involved! Go to hell, Leah! If you dare even think of telling my parents, 
I'm going to hunt you down. I'm not joking around with you anymore. Oh, really now? I'd love to see that. <laughs> so Martin and I are going to talk over how to handle all this. You ruined our wedding plans. And there's a lot to pay for the damages here. First, the wedding that got canceled. Have to pay them for letting us hold the venue. Then the flight tickets I paid to have our relatives attend our wedding, which now have to get refunded. Oh, there's loads more on the list. What does it have to do with me? Well, why should I pay for that when you're the reason this plan is all ruined? What the? Anyway, we've got a lot to discuss. So you will join us this Saturday, right? And I hope you know what will happen if you don't show up to this mini meeting we're having this Saturday. I'm not doing this. Okay, well then I have photos and I have your parents' numbers. So you're just making it easy for me, really. Leah, don't do this to me. Or what? Just join us on Saturday at 1 p.m. at Georgia Cafe on 3rd Street to talk over the financial stuff with Martin. Agree to pay what I ask you to pay, and that's all you have to do. Everything will be over after that. We don't have to talk to anyone. Fine! In the end, not only my parents and Martin's parents, but also Harper's parents joined us for a lengthy discussion that lasted about six hours. Surprisingly, having everyone present expedited things and made it easier for me to get the compensation I deserved from Martin and Harper. Now I hear that their savings have been depleted while mine has more than doubled. As for me, I've moved back in with my parents for the time being until I figure out my next steps. With the increased funds, I might just treat myself to a holiday and have some fun embracing my newly single life, hoping to meet some great guys along the way. Honestly, I couldn't care less about what Martin and Harper are up to now. It's none of my concern, right? They're probably working their tails off to save up some money. Well, serves them right. <laughs>